me. Who else would it be? Yeah, here's Josh. I'm here too. What's up, y'all? I'm cooking with the Hatters Wednesday edition. We got a cucumber here. Some fresh mint from the garden. Some Tucum Carry Mountain feta cheese. Some little grape tomatoes from his work. Chicken, chicken from somebody else's work. <laughs> Some pitas. I'm actually surprised they had these at the store. So, yeah, I was like, because we were looking for flat out wraps or something. They don't have those anymore. Um, I'm out of dib, so I went to see if they had Ezekiel. Guess what? They do not anymore. They used to in the freezers. So, Josh is going to pop that. Don't forget to do this one before. Or, okay. And I'm going to be cutting this cucumber. And it's just a quick little summer dish, I guess. Not a lot of cooking. Don't forget to take the, the bitterness out. Ooh. I know, how exciting, right? Okay, let's see. I know, I have the small knife. I don't have any red onions because I was not feeling like raw onions today. Okay, that's that should be good. And this was suggested suggested by Elsa. I always worry I'm saying it wrong, but I think I'm saying it right. Okay. Yes, we like the skins sometimes. So there you go, the cucumber. Just a small one because it's just the three of us. And definitely cut off these little stems here. So how's everybody doing? What are you having? How was your 4th of July, your Independence Day? Did you cook out? Did your neighbors drive you nuts? Did you drive your neighbors nuts? Let's see. What's up? I squeeze in here and get a wooden spoon. There you go. Let's see. And how was your Canada Day? I always want to say Canadian Day. <laughs> I'm not going to put the Kalamata olives in the salad because Josh is not a big olive fan. So, I'm going to spare him that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no. Much appreciated. We went to get Greek... Uh, yogurt from our local store we have not been able to get out of town so this might be missing some ingredients but we went to get greek what you looking for salt no pepper no okay we went to get greek yogurt they wanted eight dollars for the store brand you can get it for like three bucks at walmart but walmart's you know almost two hours away so we're just going to be using sour cream for the tzatziki, unfortunately, but it'll come out good. I don't have lemons either because they were all gone. Uh, you know, people needed them for their Coronas. <laughs> there they are. Yes, and then we have ground clove now too. So I'm going to use a little bit of tomatoes here. healthy and light and fluffy and fresh 
I don't know. It's just toucan carry stuff. I don't know how fresh it is. Oh, the powwow's opening back up. For all those invested in our little dramas and goings on and happenings, the, the powwow is going to be reopened. Somebody else bought it and they're going to turn it into like a bar and lounge. So yay, our historical landmark has been saved. Um, I think, hopefully, what? Yeah. Hopefully, that that restaurant never did do the healthy bowl. She said she was gonna, but they didn't. But like I said before, they've been short staffed. Everybody's been short staffed. It's it's a thing. Our grocery store used, well, I was talking about that, used to have the Ezekiel bread, now they don't anymore. Yeah, they used to have all kinds of stuff, now they don't. Every time we go, there's less and less healthy stuff. I really don't understand what's going on. So. And they constantly move stuff around. Oh my gosh, yes. Like, we have a, there's a tiny little frozen you know where the egg rolls and the fried rice and stuff is in the frozen section well and then they have another section near the near the seafood with more Chinese or yeah more Chinese food more Asian food and I'm just like why wouldn't you just keep it all together yeah and the whole thing is carpeted but we and, and the whole grocery store is carpeted so if you have allergies or allergic to dust stuff you really don't want to go in that store because the floor is trapping <laughs> <laughs> there we go almost done with this I'm not really sure what else goes into Greek salad I think some seasonings um, maybe a little either. oil yeah we do have some Greek olive oil. Oh, we do. I know. We have that robust olive oil. So here it is with the tomatoes and the cucumbers and the mint. Let's see. And I'm going to put a little salt and pepper or a little sea salt. Pink salt. <laughs> Sorry. I haven't eaten all day since breakfast. I had breakfast at like 9.30 and I have not eaten all day. So I'm a little... <laughs> I get really hyper. Green Goddess from Angie at Exploring Health or one of her other channels. She has a few. She's on my... Uh, when you go to my YouTube main page, you'll see like channels... She's one of those. And then on her main channel, she has links to her other channels, exploring food, exploring games, uh, goods and services where she does like reviews and stuff. She keeps her channel separated, which is cool because I can't do that. <laughs> I, I'm horrible at separating stuff and keeping everything straight. I, I yeah, <laughs> I'm not that organized, so kudos to that. Um, yeah. So there you go. I'm not going to put any oil in it. Because we got the tzatziki. That's enough bad stuff. There we go. Mmm. Maybe I should put this uh, potato slayer. It's garlic, onion, and dill. I think I will. I think I will. Hey, it's cooking with the hatters. You're allowed to do anything. Put a lot of spice on our food. We like it spicy. Because we're all mad here, man. <laughs> you gotta be. Mmm. Yum. 
Okay, oh, and check out my earrings and my necklace. I got it from a local jewelry maker here, and I'll tag her Instagram in the description below. Let's see. Okay, we got the light sour cream, which is not even open yet. <laughs> A little impromptu or not it's not, that's probably not the right word I know it's not really how it's made but we're doing what we can with what we got ooh that sounded <laughs> squish okay there we go I do like to cut this with Greek yogurt but we just don't have any I wasn't paying eight bucks to have it locally no aha uh -huh. Okay, now I don't have a real lemon, so I'm going to be using this. Since, ever since I figured out how to make this stuff, I love it. Whoa, that lemon is strong. Okay, I'm going to use a little minced garlic. Get the juices in there. And then just a little bit. And then we have this garlic, onion, black pepper, sea salt mix. Oh, I hear pit. It isn't a cookie with the hatters if the dogs aren't barking. Yep. <laughs> All of them are going off now. See if somebody's here. It almost sounds like somebody might be here. Or there's a stray dog outside. This is uh, the. I think they all ran to the alley. Oh, the stray dog in the alley. I, I didn't get back, so it was nothing. C and J Farms, Texan Artisan Seasonings, Greek Seasoning. Josh has told you guys about this place before. Hey, will you hand me the uh, grater? I think it's in this drawer. Or no, it's up there. No, not that one. The small one. There we go. I think it needs more seasoning. The color is just not hitting the way I want it to. Oops, sorry. And then I have a little bit of water. Okay. Penny's still going. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, my love. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if that's enough. Nah. Nah. <laughs> I need an electric one. Nah. It's a good upper arm workout or something. Okay. Give the rest of the cucumber to Junior. <laughs> He's like, yes, please. I heard my name. Like, I'm, I'm waiting. Right. Like, I've been waiting on it since before you said anything. Just a dash of water. What, Junior, do you want some cucumber? Lola? Penny doesn't like cucumber, so don't feel bad for her. Oh, okay. I'll take, ah. it. I'll take it to Lola. Okay, you'll deliver to Lola. I think she's just chilling. Come here. She's on her way back in. Back in from Sit. outside. Oh, so close. Maybe I should cut another piece off. Let's see. Hmm. Is it missing anything? Hmm. Here. I think it 
needs more seasoning. Always. Yeah, it needs more something. The color just wasn't hitting the way it should. Uh oh. We need a new one. <laughs> we go through so much pepper. Yes. I love pepper. I apologize. We all love pepper. Okay, let's try. thicker somehow. <laughs> no. Much better. What do you think? Yes. Okay, so there's the tzatziki. Here's our little Greek salad. I might... I'm just gonna crumble the feta cheese on there separately. Or should I put it in the salad? What do you think? I'll let you be the, the judge. Um. always have Kalamata olives in the house because I love them. We try to always have feta cheese in the house too. The only time I like olives is on pizza when it's almost burnt. Mm. And we had lettuce but we only had it in the fridge for a day and it went bad. So I've got a little bit of lettuce outside growing enough for like one person oh who's getting the lettuce junior you know, i'll let it grow a little bit more then <laughs> oh poor junior i wasn't calling you like that lola lola's like hey i got heard some sweet chard he can have gotta be careful with the feta because you know good feta always is like that. Wet. <laughs> yes. And this is good feta. This is the best feta. Honestly, this is the best feta I've ever had. Except for at a Greek restaurant that I love in Milwaukee. If you live in Wisconsin, you probably know about Oakland Euros. <clears throat> Cheesemaker that uh, that makes this cheese was uh, is world famous. And they're from Wisconsin. It's his feta has uh, held the world championship title for like three years. So this is the best feta. The best feta in the world, <laughs> literally. <laughs> and speaking of Wisconsin, we should check the P.O. box. I know it's only Wednesday, but. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody said a, something about stuff from Wisconsin, and I'm like, ooh. Okay. I need a piece of feta. Okay. Just need a piece. The dogs are like, we need a piece of feta too. Mm. Right? Yum. I love feta. I'm going to stick some in the salad too. I know I've been slacking on my videos, but I'm going to be doing a video tomorrow. I'm not going to talk about it in this video. Okay. I'll do a video tomorrow. This is going to be a video. Yeah, not a cooking. We're going to try to keep this light and fresh and fluffy. 
No, don't do that. Go. Just because I put my crushed red pepper, oregano, and garlic. I like to put that on my feta cheese sometimes. Yes, we. Yes, I know we use a lot of spices. Okay. Ah, sorry for the clinking. I'm just. I just put a little bit in the salad. There we go. And while the chicken is cooking, I'm gonna pause this, and we'll be right back. Here we go, we got the chicken. And this is the seasoning we put on it. Popping all day. We got this in our cooking panda box with citrus, garlic, and parsley. Mmm. Mmm. So we've got some plates here. And what we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna stick the pitas. And they're not the kind that have the split in the middle, they're the kind that just are flat like this. Will you put these in the microwave for like 30 seconds? Yep. Then I'm gonna grab this plate. And yes, we're gonna eat on this plate too, so. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna cut the chicken. Don't have to cut that, it's already small. Ah. And Pip likes cucumbers. Granted, he's at the age where he eats almost anything. But I had Josh take over a cucumber at Grandma's house. And he loved it. So. He mouthed that. Nom, 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 nom. Just like these two. Penny does not like them. I can sometimes get her to eat them, but I feel bad because I use peer pressure. <laughs> and I don't know. I'm just mostly messing. I don't know if dogs understand English that well. But I'm like, all the other dogs eat cucumbers. And then she'll be like, I guess. <laughs> I know, I'm probably crazy thinking my dog can understand me. But sometimes I really think she can. She, she seems like it. Yeah. Well, like one day, you know, I'm like, hey, do you want to stay in the room or do you want to go outside? If you want to go outside, get in your room. <laughs> and she get, went to her kennel or the time with the tape remember when I she dropped she jumped on the yeah. bed and she dropped my tape when I was packing packages yeah and uh, I said and I had just done something for her I don't remember what I gave her something yeah and then I was like well I did that for you and you just dropped my my tape on the floor. The least you can do is go down there and pick it up for me. Yeah. And then she looked at me and she went, <sighs> and she jumped on the floor and grabbed the tape and brought it to me. I'm like, oh, well, thanks. Cut mom's a little small. I'll give mom those small pieces too, but I gotta cut mom's a little smaller. You know, ours can be big chunks, but There you go, some mama chunks. And this is a chicken that we got from HelloFresh once. Or not HelloFresh, uh, every plate. The same thing, same same company, just cheaper. Not actually sure why it's cheaper. This packaging isn't as pretty. Something like that. Which is fine, because I love the fact that every plate doesn't use excessive packaging. Every plate uses like they put it all in paper bags and this and that and lots of plastic. They they individually wrap all the vegetables and I'm like, mm. I love that about uh, every plate is that they don't do that. They just send all the veggies in a box and you don't necessarily have to follow the recipes if you don't want to. They just send you everything for the recipe. Yeah, and, and the, the recipes. recipes. Hmm. Jinx. Jinx? Okay, come on now. <laughs> I just shut up until you said something next. <laughs> Let me see how this chicken tastes. Mmm. Needs more spice. No, I'm just kidding. Mm. Put that in there. And yes, I am reusing the plate. 
it off. Okay. Now, I'm gonna grab a little bit of the chicken. Ta-da! I kind of wish they were the, the kind with the pocket, but that's okay. These are more authentic. Authentic. Okay, and I'm gonna use my hand for this, and I don't care. Do you care? No. Nope. I know. That was a weird flashlight. I know mom don't care. Okay. And then some feta. That's what hands are for. And I'm gonna not put olives on this one. There is an olive on this one right now. But since Josh is gonna be taste testing. Thank you. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Where'd I put the tzatziki? There we go. And the tzatziki. So I don't know. I'm just really trying my best to make stuff healthier for Josh and for mom. I mean, I've been trying to make our food healthier since mom moved in, to be honest. And, yeah. Uh, but now it's you, harder. <laughs> make more fresh stuff. Her mom hasn't had to use her nighttime breathing machine. Yeah, she hasn't used her CPAP in almost two years. And over two years. Right? <laughs> well, I'm going to pause this. And then I'm gonna work to stand up and then we're gonna do the taste test. But look at, ah, the tomato fell off. Oh. Here, stand. Maybe thumbnail. Okay. We're here. <laughs> we're back. Oh, and that's why I'm wearing the chili apron, by the way, because I wanted it to match. In case you're like, where's the cooking with the hatters? It's ready. <laughs> You go first. That looks good. Junior's like, drop it, drop it, drop it. Drop it like it's hot. The good thing is, hopefully you won't burn yourself on this one. I know, right? Very tzatziki -y. It's delicious. I love it. Thank you for uh, recommending this. Hopefully we did it justice with what we had. Next week we're going to be trying to do the chili zucchini boats from the Pampered Chef Choose Our Adventure. That was the winner. Um, at least at the time I counted the boats. So that should be next week's. Unless we can't find zucchini or something. <laughs> yeah. Everything that you can buy online that I use, like the spices and stuff, will be below. I'll put the Instagram for this chick. Beautiful stuff. And if you have any other questions or anything about... Recommendations. Uh, <laughs> how we do it, just... Ask us. Ask. <laughs> I'm on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. Okay. Or any recommendations. Please, <laughs> just give us a shout out. Till next time. Peace. Stay humble. Stay kind. Stay kind. <laughs> Watch out for the normal people. Laters.